We're likewise happy to see a lot of familiar faces, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. True, Jane, Grace, uh, Madeline. We've been there in the project, they've seen it firsthand. Hi, my name is Julian, I'm from the company called Willow Tree Development Corporation. We develop the residences of Brent. This is a seven building development in the Brent community in Baguio City. Find, us, find out more about the project uh, via the Realty Emporium offering. You can likewise check our website www.theresidencesofbrent.com And that's about it. That's all I'll say about our project because I'm, I'm here to talk about Realty Emporium. So when I was invited by, by John and Monica to, to come and attend this uh, launch of the Realty Emporium, I said, why not? It will be a perfect time to show my support to two of the industry's most professional and, and people you'd really love to work with. Our project was part of season 13. Uh, we were featured in one of the episodes in season 13. And I can say firsthand that as a developer, as a project seller, it works. No BS, Philippine Real TV works. Right? So, um, I said, fine, great, I'd love to attend. But as I arrive, I find out I'm speaking. <laughs> so, Daya, I don't mind. I'm here, but I don't mind. And dito na tayo, so I have nothing prepared. But let me tell you about Realty Emporium, Philippine Realty TV. Well, we were featured last year, uh, season 13 of Philippine Realty TV. During that time, we had two buildings being offered. One that was ready for occupancy, there were a few units there, and one that we just launched around that time. You know, last month, we have already sold out on the two buildings, and this same month, we've launched the third one. So when we were asked, why don't we use the third building being offered? We're calling it the Forbes Hall. If you're wondering, yes, it's the same person who you've named the Forbes Park uh, from, no? uh, William, uh, William Cameron Forbes. He is very significant to the Brent history as well. So we're naming this the Forbes Hall. So when we were asked, uh, um, why don't you use the Realty Emporium as a platform for selling? You know, it was a no-brainer from our part, you know. Philippine Realty TV and now Realty Emporium pushes the envelope. If you've seen the profile of John, you know they say he's a method producer because he goes over and beyond the usual title of a producer and has this almost maniacal approach into real estate, becoming a broker, going through the ins and outs, going into the building process. So you know, this would be the perfect people creating the perfect medium to offer probably the perfect product. That's a bitch. So, so I said, sure, I would be more than happy to, to have the project featured in Real DM for you. So we're excited to find out uh, how well, we're, we're confident that it will work. We're confident that it will be mutually beneficial and coming from the development developer side, from the project seller side, we're happy that people such as John and Monica, who is equally talented and professional, they're pushing the envelope in the real estate industry. They're challenging the status quo. We love to work with people like this. We love to work with people who, you know, go beyond the usual, how do you do real estate in the Philippines? We need more people like John and Monica who come up with new innovative ways, making it easy for project centers like us to reach wider and broader horizons of the network, of the clientele, of the real estate industry. So, um, congratulations to the LT Emporium. We're happy to be here. On behalf of Willow Tree Development Corporation, we are saying Real T Emporium works, and we're, we're encouraging you to let most, if not all of your network to find out as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Yuli. Really appreciate that one. And, th and I think the keywords over there were Realty Emporium Works. And I think secondary they said the maniacal approach of uh, John Aguilar when it comes to development. 
Uh, what I like about John is the appreciation of the different stages uh, of real estate development. And, um, and I'm very happy because I speak to you not only as a host, no, I'm actually a real estate developer myself. I, I sit on the board of the Subdivision Housing Developers Association and it's nice that there are new ways to uh, improve our ability, to lubricate our ability to be able to uh, reach our clients. And among them, speaking today, another very lovely lady. Uh, she is right now a leading contestant on the search on currently the show Philippine Realty TV called The Search for the Broker Superstars. And of course, the dilemma of many brokers nowadays is where to list and where to list exclusively their products. I want, I want to share with you a testimonial from one of our speakers and of course the leading contestant, a good friend, a colleague from work, uh, where she will share with you one of the advantages truly of working with your good friends from Realty Emporium. Please welcome Ms. Karen Tianco. Let's give Karen a round of applause. RJ and I used to be office mates because back then I used to work in corporate, you know, going to Makati every day, going through the traffic. So that was the lifestyle. And when I um, retired from corporate, I was a housewife and thinking of a new career and I discovered real estate. So um, basically the support group becomes your family. My husband is also a licensed broker. The children help out in tripping. You know, they tell the buyer, please buy the property. <laughs> the yayas have to help, you know. But it's a very small group and John came to my um, home office one day and invited me to join the search for the broker superstars because one of our colleagues there, my Ninang Diana, <laughs> broker Diana, recommended me apparently to him to join this contest. So, um, you know, I thought maybe it's a chance for me to learn something and expand my network in real estate. I was doing um, exclusive listings. Um, usually my exclusive sellers are friends or contacts of friends from the family friends network who are based abroad. So I was working with OFWs. And since the show gets shown in TFC channel, so I thought this is a good way for me, a housewife, to brand myself as a real estate broker. So, um, there. So, the transition, um, and I want to tell you my story now of how Realty Emporium can help real estate brokers expand their marketing and their network and their ability to close deals. So, as a broker, I put up my exit, my company, it's Expert Realty. And your identity and brand is maintained. It's not like you lose your identity when you partner with Realty Emporium. It's really a partnership. Um, Realty Emporium will help us with online ads and the TV material. But basically, you know, this marketing plan that you generate together is what we can tell our sellers that this is different and unique and it differentiates your property versus everybody else's property in reaching our client. So for the contest itself, um, John and Philippine Realty TV produced a very polished TV ad for the properties that we put in. So you saw earlier the LGD on the house, the very nice luxury houses uh, featured in the show. Um, the, the particular property that I proposed is actually a portfolio of units, condo units in San Juan, penthouse units that were not moving. And after the show, we were I was able to generate some points because there were sales, one after the other, after a year of not being for sale. So I think I could say maybe it did help. Um, address it because the TV material is done in a strategic and convincing way to help us brokers um, help sell better. So um, as I mentioned, the, our job as brokers will still be to take care of the client, to do the tripping, to do the closing, and get a win-win deal to us. So it's, it's um, 